Hi, in this video I'm going to look at rigging animals. So from the content browser I'm going to use one of these base meshes and first of all I'm going to start with a fish and this just this is very different to a, a legged animal so I'm just going to really point out um, where to start really um, and it's here the hips are just think about uh, these would be the legs, the hips because you want to be able to bend the the tail here um, and then have a spine going through and if you want to move the fins um, you need to have bones coming down from there so using a four up view I can press shift A to frame the uh, the shark in each of these windows um, and if I press spacebar it will highlight that or zoom in on that for the single view. I'm clicking this one here which is x-ray joints and I'm in the rigging menu set which gives me the skeleton skinning to form options uh, and on the shelf here I'm using the create joints tool to start off. So I'll click the Create Joints tool. If I double click it, I'll see the options. And um, I don't need to change any of those. So I'll, I'll just shut that down. I'll reset it in case I've changed it. Uh, and I'll close that tab. So now I have this selected. I'm going to start where I want that tail to bend. Um, and I'll start with the tail. Let's draw this on. These are quite small. Uh, joint shapes. I'll just put some along the joint there and when I get to the end I'm going to press enter and I want to have a line coming down the back bottom of the tail here as well so I'll select that again. I'll select the joint that I want to start with and then have another branch come down to do that tail. Now I can leave that independent on its own but what I'm going to do I'm going to use that joint here to go along and make a spine. Uh, so again I'll select the joint tool and just take a joint all the way along. I leave one there in case I want to move that fin. All the way down past the head to the nose. I'm going to add in a couple extra in there in case I want to animate the shape of the nose. Now if you want to be able to make the bottom of the head move separately. I'll select my last tool there. Uh, we can have a joint come off from that region. Um, and just to check I'm getting this in the right place because I'm using this in the side view. Um, I also want to check in the front. So I'm pressing spacebar to move between these and checking that I have that in a linear format down the center of the object so that's working fine. Okay so the next thing is I want to add in some joints for the fins so uh, in this case uh, this is a fin that I can bring up here and I'm going to bring it towards the front of the fin and again if I have three joints in there then I will be able to rotate that uh, and there's a lot of area here that is close to a lot of bone. So this one here around the head may actually affect this fin. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring a joint down the center of the animal towards where those fins are. So that actually will help here. Press enter and I also put one in here. This is kind of like uh, adding in a rib cage. You can add in a lot of bones around the edge of the mesh if you want to. That will just hold those in place. I'm not going to rig these back fins, just the front ones which I will want to move. Now to get those to move now I need to, uh, well I'll go back to this one, I can again select this joint and then if I go into the side view I can add those joints in down the edge. Um, now what I can do here is select 
this branch and it's useful at this stage to rename them but uh, if I just change that to uh, that's the left fin uh, I just got left uh, fin uh, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror that so I've got an option here mirror joint and if I bring up the options to that I can see which axis I want to put it across now I've done this before the common setting is X Y when it started up but I want to go across the Y axis and the Z you can see they're lined up with what I've got there I can also change in here anything that says left to right. So I can mirror that and that brings that across in the right place for this as well. Now I was talking earlier about rib cages. Um, what I will do first of all though is just do a bind on this and we'll see. Um, so I'm shift clicking the, the root joint and the mesh and I'm going to do a bind skin. So now I've got uh, I can select these joints and rotate them. So there you can see the nose is moving. Um, so if I was animating this as a character, that is actually holding the the bottom of the jaw. So I'll undo that. Um, and also I can start to move these uh, in whatever way I want. Um, so one of the issues I get is this uh, the underneath of the shark is moving um, with these joints so I can paint that out I can use the uh, paint skin weights tool to paint those out once I know which the joints are this is why it's useful to name them but um, for this example I'm not uh, and I can say go to bind pose so once I've done that there's a slight error in that that hasn't reset the position of that joint um, but what I'm planning to do now is to do an unbind skin to remove the binding from there um, and if I just do some undos I just want to take that back to the position that bone was in it's not actually resetting at all um, that position is just off. Um, so I'll place that back where it was. So what I'm going to do is just add in some, some rib cage for this. So again I'm going to use one of the uh, orthographic views and select that point uh, and add that there. A bit far out. Um, but I can start adding in some joints that will just hold parts of the body a little bit better. This rib cage just allows me to use that um, the power of these ribs um, just to help define the body shape of this creature. So I'll put that in there and so finally just move that slightly across that last one so it's actually inside the skin um, and just as I did last time uh, that's the left I can mirror that across I've got the mirror settings set up uh, so mirror joints that brings that across um, and it was that part of the body which was most moving. So this time when I do a skin bind, um, I should be able to find that when I rotate this, it will actually show wrong. Uh, it will actually hold that better. See so there you're seeing there isn't much of a deformation on that area got some in the front so you can add in extra ribs on that but we can actually have a, quite a lot of control over that so this is doing a, a fish the hip is here so you can move the whole piece 
or if I um, zoom in on that, I can. That's the whole. The hips move the whole object. But when I start rotating the fin here, at the back, I can move the tail independently of the whole piece. So this root joint will move the whole animal, and that's your the basis of your whole piece. So that's how to do a fish. Um, I will go on to do a quadruped, and uh, we'll see that in the next video.